You were, we were just having dinner. Everyone, get out of my house. Please, just leave us alone. Stop trying to interfere with his life. All it does is hurt him more. But we can't just leave him like this. Now is when he needs friends the most. No, now is when he needs me the most. I'm his doctor and his mother. Now, ma'am, see, that's a problem. Yeah. As his mother, you should not be acting as his doctor. Yep. You are in no way capable of acting in an objective manner in regards to this guy. Uh, yeah, but I think that went out the window when she reanimated him. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty that's... sure. I'm pretty sure all of this, all of these, uh, these uh, ethical complaints uh, flew right out the window the second she Frankensteined him. You're right. You're right. Suspending my disbelief. <clears throat> I know you care about him. I know that, and he knows it too. But all any of you would do is get in the way. Get in the way of what, lady? So just leave. Please. Uh, don't think I don't know something is up here. Don't think we don't know something is up here. We have stuff to do anyway. He seemed fine before dinner. Oh, I don't know. I personally want to call her out on it, but... I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, based on her behavior during dinner, uh -huh. I feel like she's not, um, she's not malicious. She's no. not acting in a, in a malicious way. Like, she's not the mother who poisoned her son for 18 years or whatever. No, Loop is um, right. If, I don't think we want to raise her suspicions up by saying we know something's up. Let's yeah. just say we'll get out of her your way because this way, if something does go south with Reese... Like, she won't stonewall us. Yes. So, yeah. that's, what I, that's what I think. Yeah, I agree, too. And and like I was saying, also, like, I don't think she's acting maliciously. I think she's just trying to do her best with a rotten situation that she probably caused. Yeah. Um, you know, at the end of the day, she's his mom, and she wants him to be healthy, and that's not happening. So, of course, she's upset. Yes. And she's, you know, this is how she's handling it. Yes, I agree. All right, so l yeah. let's get out of the way. Yeah, sorry. We'll get out of your way. Good. Bye. The three of you are rushed to the door. We'll be back, Reese. I hope you feel better soon. Dr. Kelly shuts the door in your faces. The click of a lock signals the end of your dinner at Reese's. Uh, oh. That Dr. Kelly is afraid of Reese. Okay. I think we keen eye first. Yeah, absolutely. Always keen eye first. Did either of you get the impression that Dr. Kelly is afraid of Reese? I could have sworn I saw genuine fear in her eyes for a second there. He was turning into a monster! Woo! Are you sure she, just, she wasn't just being overprotective? I'm sure that's all that's going on, and she has every right to be. I mean, the poor guy took two bites of food and got sick immediately. I can't imagine what that's like for both of them to go through. He took two bites of food because he's dead and he doesn't have a working digestive system. Yeah, he got sick immediately because his digestive system is like, why are you making me do this? No, I can't do this. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm rotting flesh. I don't work. Yep. <laughs> and meanwhile, Stella, the one person who would believe every, everything, we're like, so hey, do you think maybe something weird's going on there? Nah. Nah. Oh, Stella. Anyone is afraid of anyone in that house. Reese is afraid of his mom. I think you're both reading into things too much. Dr. Kelly is good people. Oh, Stella. Stella, I love you, but you say that about everyone. Look, I'm just saying maybe there's more to their dynamic than just him being sick. But it's not like there's much we can do about it right now. Anika is correct. We could probably go back and forth on this for a while. Let's grab Gretchen and get going. The sun is setting and we won't want to miss a second of ghost action. That's true. Stella hurries off down the hill, almost as if to run away from what just happened. You and Kanika follow her down and slowly down the slowly darkening street. Lit by the orange hues of the setting sun, the library feels different. What was once a quaint building in a small town now stands as an imposing structure, its walls holding something that stares back at you with menace. Maybe Stella is right. Maybe ghosts aren't real, and the rest of tonight is going to be a pleasant break from the events of the past few days. Before you enter, a pair of figures in the nearby bush catch your eye. 
You can't help but feel that with every passing day, the ditchlings grow bolder. Is that them there? Yeah. And over here? Yep. Keen eye the horror guy. Ah, ah. enter the library. Just as its exterior was intimidating in the setting sun, what? Oh, we were supposed to check the bushes, but we didn't have an option, did Okay. Oh, she, I think she just wanted us to look at the bushes. Oh, okay, yeah. Just as its exterior was intimidating in the setting sun, the inside of the library is dark, its shadows deep and foreboding. The meet and greet with the mayor ended quite some time ago, and the throngs of visitors took whatever joy was in this place with them as they left. Oh no, we fucked up. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh wait. wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah she no. wanted us to look at them. Uh, okay, okay. We, yeah, we, and we saw it. There were things in the... We, yeah, the, the ditchlings were there. Okay. Hey, Oscar, are you back yet? Shh, you can't yell in a library. It's against the rules. It's after hours. Rules only apply before 5 p.m. Now it's our domain. Jesus. Oh hey, you were here sooner than I expected. Hope dinner went okay? Yeah, it went okay. Eh, it went. Reese wasn't feeling up for for a longer hangout, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. <clears throat> uh, oh. It's okay, it just means we have more time to hunt ghosts. I've come fully loaded. Got my EMF reader, temperature gauge, spirit box, infrared camera, UV light. Video cameras, salt, flashlights for everybody in case the ghost messes with the electricity, parabolic microphone, sharpies, and paper for automatic writing, matches, and candles for rituals. Uh, Stella, have you been playing Phasmophobia? What do you think? And you've got your specter sniffing compatriot at your. Oh, That's oh, scratching! And you've got your specter sniffing compatriot at your side, too! This nose can sniff out any ne'er do well we might find! Whether spirit or scoundrel. Oh, and a Ouija board. I know they're toys, but you never know what might come in handy. Wow, this is a lot of ghost hunting stuff for something that was so last minute. Do you just have this stuff ready to go in a bug out bag or something? Of course I do. I actually stashed a couple of bags here overnight after I got back from the mines. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I wasn't about to carry everything around all day. This way we can go and light, and light and pop out to grab more stuff once things start getting spooky. Yeah, she's been playing Phasmophobia. Yep. I may never have found any compelling evidence of ghosts, but that's not for lack of trying. And after last night, I'm more than ready to try again. Hey, hope I'm not too late. Have I missed any creepy paranormal stuff? Avery, glad you could make it. The more pairs of hands we have, the more equipment we can carry. <clears throat> sure thing. Always happy to offer a hand or two. Offer a hand or two. I can, I can talk. We've been talking for three hours. I know. Glad there'll be someone else with a level head in here tonight. Whoa, is that an EMF reader? I've never seen one in person. Look at all that stuff. Spirit box, parabolic microphone, you all really, really covered your bases. Maybe <laughs> I spoke too soon. You know me, Kadika. I'm as level-headed as they come. I'm just not ready to rule out weird paranormal stuff. When people tell me they saw a ghost, who am I to say that they didn't? I mean, just last night you all apparently saw some truly unexplainable stuff, so anything seems possible right now. Uh, keen eye. Yeah. Yeah. Always keen eye. Always. I've got a bad feeling about this. There were ditchlings in the bushes outside. Who knows how many more are lurking around here? Are, are those the monsters you saw in the woods? Just once I'd like to actually see some of this stuff myself. Trust me, you don't. If Sybil's right, we're only going to see more of them as time goes on. We can't let them get in the way of things. Uh, last night was weird. I don't know what we saw. There's nothing I explained about my class. Whatever weird stuff we saw last night was probably just a gas leak. No. Uh, there could always be a rational non-super 
No. Um, I do like the aliens one, but that's I a little too. bit more sarcastic than, uh, than the angle we're going for. Those mines were chock full of ghosts last night? Yep. They were. We saw them. Yeah. With our own two eyeballs. Those mines were chock full of ghosts last night. After all my fruitless ghost hunts, I basically convinced myself that ghosts weren't real, but last night we saw some really convincing evidence. Especially those figures you mentioned. Though, I'm still 50-50 on whether they were cryptids or ghosts. Hopefully whatever happens tonight will clear that up. I can't wait to wander through Oscar's house for a few uneventful hours before getting Rosalina tucked into bed. I could use a nice quiet night after everything we went through. That'd be too bad. I was kind of hoping to see a ghost. Maybe it'll be a happy medium between no ghost and deadly spirits of vengeance. A Casper situation might be nice. I envy your pessimism here, but I suppose it won't be long until we get to the bottom of things. Yo! Don't rush off ghost busting without Zane. No way I was going to forget your promise, Stella. Oh my god. Zane, glad you could make it. What is that? This is literally Scooby-Doo. It is now. Look, Shaggy's here. We found him. I was confronted with my own mortality for the first time yesterday, so I'm desperate for answers about the afterlife to ease my troubled mind. No, you're not. You're high. Now let's go mess with some ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My oh my, this certainly is a lot of humans for one little old ghost hunt. I do hope this means my dear Stella will be safe this evening and that whatever foul creatures lurk in the shadows choose to prey on someone else. Uh, okay. <laughs> I hope my house is big enough for six ghost hunters at once. If this is everyone, we can go ahead and get started. It's through the back. Follow me. This is where Tabby shows up. No. Oh, oh. And Pixel. Yay! You're Pixel. Oh, I was Pixel. That's right. Hey, human. Kick goes ass, okay? I missed my special tree. Oh, <gasps> we no. have to do it for Pixel. You and your companions grab some equipment from one of Stella's carefully stashed bug out bags before heading towards the junction connecting Oscar's house and the library. Jesus, look at this man. This is I a know. lot of man. That is a slab of meat. Looks like the sun has almost set. This is when stuff usually starts to kick off. I haven't been back inside for about a week, so I have no idea what to expect. Oh, oh God, there's more. Hey. You didn't think you'd be doing this out, doing this without me, did you? Oh my God, and she brought her friend. Everyone is here. This is Smash Brothers. Everyone is here. <laughs> Rosalina, I thought you were at Alexis's place. Yeah, and now we're here. Sorry, Mr. Gutierrez. She real, she's really convincing, and I have a huge crush on her. I mean, I mean, I didn't say that out loud. Oh, hi, Zane. What's up? Yo. God. <laughs> you don't have to leave me out of stuff like this anymore, Dad. I'm not some fragile thing that needs protecting. Girl, you are 13. You are his darling daughter. Yeah. I can handle seeing a ghost or whatever it is that's keeping us out of our house. I really don't think you want to see what's in there, Rosalina. I don't know if we'd ever be able to feel safe in our house again if you knew it, knew it was there. Um. All right, this is. I'm. I like how this is a keen eye option. Yeah. I, He's right there. My, my keen eye is okay. This idiot's coming. Yep. I mean, Zane's coming. It's not like it's an adults-only event. This isn't a ghost hunt anymore, Hillary. You're right. It's a party. They've got a good point, Mr. G. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to be coddled just because you're scared. Alexis and I can handle this. It's best to give this pup the chance to face her obstacles head on. Take it from an old soul like me. Aw, Gretchen. Aw, oh, Gretchen. Yeah, we can totally handle this. We almost died last night. You look so confident, Alexis. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Rosa. Just let me know if it gets to be too much and you want to leave, okay? Thanks, Dad. Now. Now, oh, let's this. get our house back. He's a good dad. He is a... God, there's so many people here. There are so many people. 
you all cross over the threshold and enter Oscar's living room. Family photos line the walls and stacks of books sit comfortably on wooden furniture. Aside from the painting on the floor, this living room feels too normal, too human to be haunted. Okay, looks pretty normal for now. I don't remember that picture being on the floor, but that would be non-supernatural. None of my equipment is picking up anything around the picture. But I'll set up a camera in case it falls again. Could be important evidence. You might want to save your cameras for Rosalina's room. That's where I've seen the ghost uh, manifest. It's just down the hall. Oscar and Kanika startle as the door swings open. Uh, yeah, she's here! The gag's all here. Uh, Hold it. You're not taking my cousin along on any more of your little hijinks without me. Tabby! I knew Solo would be so happy. I can't believe you had the audacity to give me the slip earlier today, Kiwi Ant. You can't? Yeah, really? You've known me for three days. This is like the most me thing I've done. Yep. <clears throat> After I explicitly asked you not to, at least you did me the courtesy of letting me know exactly where you'd be tonight, so I didn't have to waste my time looking for you. Wait, Kiwi Ant, you invited her? Wow, Kiwi Ant, you really brought the whole gang together today. Yeah, I did yeah, it! Yeah, we did! <clears throat> I have every right to be here, Kanika. My family built this place, you know. Yeah, I know. We all know. Kiwi Ant, what made you think inviting her was a good idea? Uh... She just wants to make sure I don't get hurt. Or I like her, we're friends. <laughs> Definitely not, I'm just placating her. Uh, she I just like... wants to make sure I don't get hurt. Yeah. She just wants to make sure I don't get hurt. Yeah, I'm looking out for my cousin. If y'all are going to drag Kiwi into dangerous situations every night, you'll have to deal with having a chaperone. Got it? Yeah, that means Tabby's going to join us from now on. Hell yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Maybe she'll smile again. Okay, sure, the mine was definitely dangerous, but a haunted house? Come on, this is one of the least dangerous things someone can do. It's basically a slumber party. I don't know, Kanika. I usually don't see much action out in the woods, and you know Kiwi and I both wound up in a pretty hairy situation Monday night. I don't think we can rule out the possibility of grave danger. She's just so happy that Tabitha's here. I know. Exactly. I'm not underestimating how much danger Kiwi and can find themselves in even while walking through a perfectly normal house. Sounds like we're in for an interesting night. She's worried about us walking through a perfectly normal house, and yet, we has she seen where we sleep? She, she lives in a death trap, yep. Yep. I'm glad I didn't stay in the same town with the people I went to high school with. No wonder small towns have so much drama. Yeah, Avery. Aww. I wonder if the ghost would even show with this many people around. Oh dear, could someone please warm the air back up? My joints are creaking in this dreadful chill. Oh, oh no, Gretchen. Dreadful chill? Sounds like a ghost. Oh, wait, is it just me or does it suddenly feel colder? It sure does. I definitely feel that. Same. I've got chills. They're multiplying. <laughs> the temperature gun says it's actually a couple of de degrees colder, but... That's normal. Rooms and hallways are sometimes cold in other parts of the house. Have you seen how many people are in this room? Yeah, I know. There's no way. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way. Whoa, a genuine cold spot. I gotta snap a pig for pasta. Of what, you fucking burnout? It's fine. Let him do what he wants. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> Is that it? This isn't very scary. Uh... Oh, that's a good point. Zane is not a clever boy, yeah. Uh, I'm scared, bye. Ooh, uh, do we want to split the party? Do we want to... Uh, hold on, let's do this explore first. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Wait, Rosalina, if the ghost mostly manifests in your room, shouldn't you have seen it? I've only seen the stain. Dad made me switch rooms with him way before we moved out. I wasn't about to let my daughter sleep in a haunted bedroom. I spent most of my nights on the couch before he set up shop in the, li in the library. Even if there is something back there, I'm not scared of it. I'm mad at it. Yeah, kick its ass. Hell yeah, Rosalina. 
Y'all are so brave. I'd be terrified sleeping somewhere that might have a ghost. I feel a presence. Um, I think we got a Scooby Do it. Yeah, we got a Scooby Do it. All right, gang. I think we'll cover more ground if we split up and search for clues. <laughs> Let's see who this really is. Is the, the achievement we just got? Yeah, because we're Scooby Dooing. Yeah. Sure. Me and my cousin can search the least dangerous room, like a bathroom or a closet. Oh my God, she's worried about us. I love her. No, no, absolutely not. I think we all know how that would go. Ghost or no, splitting up is always a recipe for disaster. Ah, uh, Kanika's played D and D. Yep, she's played Shit. D and D. Yeah, you're probably right. If we discover a ghost here, we should all discover it together. That's not exactly the angle I was going for, but okay. It's probably for the best. We don't want everyone fighting over who gets to go with who. That's true. I'd That's want to go true. with Avery. I would want to go with Avery. Avery oh! gives you a oh! brief no. Ah! <laughs> Yo, once we find the ghost, how are we going to get rid of it? Like, how does one bust such a thing? Well, my ghost hunting kid has symbols from every major religion, assorted holy books, a bunch of salt, and some jars for ectoplasm. Hell yeah. And if worst comes to worst, we can always use the Ouija board to politely ask it to leave. Aren't Ouija boards super cursed? Are you sure that wouldn't make it mad or invite a demon into the house or something? Ouija boards are toys. The only power they have is scaring kids at slumber parties. That sounds like fun to me. We might as well try it, right? What's the worst that could happen? We make the ghost mad and it gives us more evidence? Sounds like a win-win. Oh my god, Avery. <laughs> you beautiful human being. I think I'd rather not take the chance. One ghost is enough to deal with. I don't much like the thought of opening a door for something worse. Wow, you've never been this superstitious, Dad. This ghost really has you freaked out. Yeah, what did he see? Okay. Oscar takes a deep breath before continuing. Let's, uh, let's head to Rosalina's room. Follow me. Yes! God, there's so many people. Oh, damn. Are you sure she didn't just start her period? She is 13. True. <laughs> He is that a single feeling. he is a single dad. He might not understand how to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> so he just made up a haunting and moved them to the library. <laughs> uh, he just, just in a panic. Oh, it's ghosts! <laughs> <laughs> that feeling again. Like he's, the mind. He's been in the library researching on how to tell his daughter that it's her first period. That's how why to talk to your that. daughter about her first period. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rosalina's just been quietly dealing with this. It's been weeks now. It's been over for weeks. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, like the mines, like the door to the clinic. A dusty, suffocating, dizzying feeling. Something is in this house, though whether it's a ghost or something worse, you aren't sure. Whoa. This is where I've seen it. It appears on top of this stage. The stain. The stain. Do you mean this massive blood stain? It stinks to high heaven. Yeesh. That's gotta be tough to scrub out. Does the county own this house? Do they know about the damaged carpet? Have you seen your home? I don't see how that's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I'm not getting anything. It's not even cold. It's the same temperature as the living room. Nothing on the EMF reader. Then your equipment is wrong. The stain is definitely paranormal. I've scrubbed it out too many times to count and it just keeps coming back. Okay, I was wondering about that. Yeah. It's just a stain, Dad. Can't we just cover it back up? I don't mind sleeping in here. Maybe we have to scrub it out first. Could be that the paranormal stuff will activate if we give it a reason to. Oh, good idea. That is a good idea. I've never heard of a bleach-activated ghost before. You don't use bleach to clean a carpet, Tabitha. Oh, I was just about to say that. <laughs> Whatever. How was I supposed to know that? Not everybody gets to learn how to clean things. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tabby. If you're all offering free carpet cleaning, be my guest. Uh, Gretchen says it's a bloodstain. 
I mean, they all know I can talk to animals at this point. Yeah. Um, what are our other options? Oh, oh. sorry. It's Ever ex it's explore fine. usually goes through it anyway, so. Yeah. Gretchen says it's a blood stain. Ghost blood. Stella. Stella. <laughs> or it's just a rusty pipe leaking all over your floor. I think that'd be a bigger problem than what Kiwi and Stella are suggesting. Okay, but where is it coming from if it's leaking all yeah. over the floor? I don't know. Ghost blood sounds pretty intense. Have y'all tried ripping up the carpet to see what's causing the stain? Yeah, some parents are like really weirdly neglectful when it comes to teaching their kids how to do basic shit like yeah. laying. Yeah. The government built this house. There's no way I'm leaving a big red stain in their carpet. I made sure it was pristine every morning. Besides, I also kind of assumed it was ghost blood, which it is. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll just take you to court for neglect instead. Did it not occur to you that there could be a leaky pipe under the floor? What if there's something written under there? Ooh. Only one way to be sure. Rip, rip, rip. Oh my god. Stella! There she goes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Stella. I love her. Are we digging? Let me help. This is my area of expertise, after all. Oh my god. Oh, dear. Gretchen. You're doing the government a favor, really. I mean, you could just replace yeah. it. We'll cover for you. You don't have to sweat it. Oh no! Yeah! Yeah! Stella pulls back the carpet, revealing a hatch. The floor around it is stained reddish brown. There is a broken seal around its edges. Whoever carpeted over this hatch didn't want anyone going down there. And oh, now we're going to the blood, blood basement. basement. What if there isn't a ghost after all? What if somebody lives down there? Look at Oscar's face. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, he is. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't want to sleep in here. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Good call, Rosalina. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, no, keen eye. There's a broken seal. There's a broken seal around its edges. Someone doesn't want us down there. Yeah, but how long ago was it sealed up? Whoever did this has got to be long gone, right? There was no basement in this house. At, at least we would have told about the basement. And look, all the red stuff is coming from underneath. Oh yeah, this is super haunted, all right. You've got a basement chock full of ghosts. I could just feel it. Uh, still no readings, though. None of the equipment has made a sound. Of course not. Y'all know last month was super rainy. It's clearly been a long time since anyone stepped step foot in the basement or crawl space or whatever it is under that hatch there must be a leak that flooded the whole area under the house the water dissolved the caulk around the edges and leaked through the carpet and it's red because North Carolina has red ass dirt it's as simple as that Gretchen says it's blood though Gretchen would know I know Gretchen would know oh it, and Oscar it's not mud it's blood human blood I tested it well you tested wrong Oh, Tabitha and Kanika. Oh, look, they're getting along. They're bonding yeah. over being skeptics. Yeah, they can be friends. We can do this. It can't be blood, right? Kanika's right. You've got a muddy floor, and that's why it's so cold in here, too. There's wet dirt under the house. Congratulations, we solved your ghost problem. No way. There's an old hatch in the floor that someone tried to seal up. We're not leaving until we know what's down there. Oh, yeah. I'm with, I'm with Stella. This is my room, and I need to know what's down there. Have you considered they may have they may have tried sealing it up because it's unsafe? <laughs> oh, Kanika, you tried that excuse with the mines last night. It didn't work. It didn't work. God. Kanika is just like Finch. Uh-oh. Do you think the flooding could have made the house unstable? I'm all in on ghost hunting, but I don't know if I could crawl into another dangerous crevice. I'm going for it. Yeah, you are, Stella. Of course you are, Stella. There she goes. <gasps> um. You come into Oscar's living room. You come, you come to in Oscar's living room. You come to in Oscar's living room. You can't tell what time it is, and your friends are nowhere in sight. Yo, the oh, building feels colder. Dip. And there's something about the air that feels wrong. Okay, so the painting that Stella replaced it's is gone. nowhere to be seen. It's gone. 
It's stale with an undercurrent of mold and earth. It makes you feel claustrophobic as though you're in a coffin, each breath depleting what little oxygen is left. How did... How did we end up back here? Where is everyone? Did we pass out again? Was there a gas leak in the basement or something? It's the Scarlet Curse. It is. It definitely is. Uh, is fainting some kind of weird family thing? It was the ghost. Okay, what the hell is it? I think let's just... Um, I, I want to ask about the family thing. Because it's only she and oh, us. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do this one. Yeah. Is fainting some kind of weird family thing? Is there a genetic condition I need to be worried about? Not that I'm aware of. Nothing like this has happened before you got to town. Who knows what sort of nastiness was festering in that basement. Your cousin marches to the front door and opens it. Ooh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why, why does it look like Oscar's house is in front of us? Didn't we just leave? I must be misremembering things. Let's go. Uh, no, she's right. There should no, be. No, you're right. There shouldn't be a door there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's do that. No, you're right. There shouldn't be a door there. Clearly, whatever was in the basement is messing with our heads. We just left Oscar's house. The library has to be on the, on the other side of that door. The two of you cross the hallway and open the door. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, no! Something isn't right. No, it's not! It's like the late summer afternoon. The air is warm and wet, and the scent of flowers drifts on the breeze. What the fucking... What? What? Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. There's a, a bird and a weird boat. And some baby and statues. Some baby statues and, the, and another little bird. Looks like a unicorn. It looks like a dinosaur unicorn, yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. And that's just Wayne back there, I'm pretty sure. It's just Wayne. This... Yes. Yeah. Uh... Let's see. Uh, Tabitha, please tell me everyone's seeing this scratchy shadow in the distance. He's like, creature behind the thorns. That's one of the bad omens Stella and I found in the woods. Oh, yeah. There's a ditchling there, too. I see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is so cool. Uh, let's call the cops. Let's call the cops, yes. Okay, uh, which one of these? Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm more concerned about the shadowy figure. Yeah, this one? Let's do the top one. Yeah, uh, Tabitha, please tell me I'm not the only one seeing that scratchy shadow in the distance. You're not? What the hell is that thing? Am I having a stroke? Are you having a stroke? Are we both having the same stroke at the same time? Oh my god, family stroke. Family strokes! Uh, oh, we can tell her about the ditchling too. Yeah. Do you see that creature behind the thorns? That's one of the bad omens Stella and I found in the woods. Okay, oh yeah, I see it. It's over here, okay. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did we die? Yeah, let's do that. Did we die? Don't be so dramatic. I think I'd know if we were dead. Would you? <laughs> There's gotta be an exit somewhere. We just have to look. Wait. Do you hear music? Oh! oh! Holy, oh, what the fuck? No. Movement stirs as a figure cloaked in shadows rises to attention. Uh, <laughs> don't uh, like that. Don't... don't like that. Oh no, I don't like that at all. I'm going to look at it more, though. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. St Stella? Ugh. Who are you? What are you doing on my property? Bark, bark! Wolf, bark! Huh? Uh... Is this... Goes, no, hold on. Did Stella didn't have a choker on, did she? I'm having kind of a difficult pel time telling what's going on with like her everything because of all the shadows. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's just do. Let's just say 
Holy shit, Stella, you scared me. Yeah, let's just pretend like this is perfectly normal and we're not at all concerned about the state of Stella's everything. Yeah. Yep. Holy shit, Stella, you scared me. Okay, uh, oh, so, okay, so Stella did not have a collar on. Yeah, a shirtless under the jope suit. Uh, okay, yeah. Y yeah, cut it out. Uh, don't like that sound. No. Did you say Eddie? No one's called me that in a long time. It. Oh, shit! It's Edward Dean now. I'm not a child anymore. Oh, shit. Oh shit! Edward Dean was a, is a, is a Scarlet. Yeah. Edward Dean? Eddie? You've got to be kidding me. Uh. uh oh. Okay. This is definitely a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is definitely a dream. I hope so. Quit trying to scare us. This ghost hunt thing is over. I'm taking my cousin home now. Uh, oh. oh, you're right. That isn't a collar. The neck is just kind of bloated. Yeah. I wish I could say the same. You should have stayed gone. And you absolutely shouldn't have shown up here of all places. If you're caught, I don't think you understand what father might do. Play along. Yeah, play along. Or just listen. Hmm. Uh, what do you think? Play along or just listen? Hard to know. You know what? I think let's play along. See if we... Okay. Okay, let's play along. Yeah. I'm not scared of father. Okay, what is this? Some kind of scene? Wow, great job. You got me. You can stop now. A flash of pain in Stella's eyes tells you that she's keenly aware of everything that's happening right now. She is in agony. Oh no. Oh no, Stella. Okay. Arf! Arf! I can't. It's not that easy for me. My brothers were sent to Normandy and, and now I'm the only Scarlet left besides father. I have responsibilities, Charlie. Shut up. Shut up! She's possessed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she can't. She's clearly possessed. By what? Edwardine? Yeah, Edwardine Scarlet. Edwardine Scarlet. Ghost! Edwardine Scarlet, yeah. Yeah. Edwardine Scarlet? Mm. Abatha tenses. You should just get out of town while you still can. Whatever you came back for, it's not worth it. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, these are all the same. Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. I'll get you out of here, Stella. I promise. Oh, no! Oh. She's gone along with the shadow in the corner of the room. We gotta go after her. Yeah. Come on, we must have taken the wrong door out of the annex. We're getting out of here before anything else happens. Nope, we're going after Stella. We have to go after Stella. Hell no, I'm not going back into that house. Do you need to hold my hand? Are you scared? Hold my hand, Tabby, I'm scared. We should hold hands, for safety. Not because either of us is scared. Uh, let's... We have to go, after, go after Stella. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go after Stella. Absolutely not. We are not being drawn deeper into this weird garden, greenhouse, whatever it is. I wonder if this is the greenhouse on our property. Ooh, maybe. She yanks your arm, pulling you back the way you came. Where did the annex go? Let's try the door. Yeah. Let's try the door. But there can't be anything behind it. It's just standing there. Oh, it is. It's hard to tell. You ignore her, walking forward and reaching for the doorknob. Open the door, open the door, open the door. Open, open it, it, open it. Bells ring as a cacophony rages outside. The door in front of you pulsates as figures unseen bang against it. The shaded figure from the garden sits in the corner, ever so slightly more defined. That's, oh, yeah, there he is. That's a face. That's With his mouth, mouth open and everything, and yeah. Oh, no. Ditchlings on the wall. 
There's yeah. a bloody pickaxe. Oh my god. A marionette. Hmm. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? This is messed up. We need help. That is a big ass pickaxe. Yeah, it is. God, please let this call go through. Tabitha anxiously taps her foot as she waits for her phone to connect. Hey, it's... what? No, it's Tabitha. Didn't you see the caller ID? Stop interrupting me. Can't you hear what I'm... Your cousin is cut off by the dial tone of a disconnected call. Great. She couldn't hear a word I said. Looks like we're on our own. Oh! Oh, no. I... Junior. Wish Junior. Wish you would stop doing that. Pack your things. Quickly. Hurry. Oh, I wonder if the thing that we saw around the neck were strings like they're puppets. Yeah. Jesus. Rosalina, you scared the shit out of me. Yeah, they're puppets. Maybe we should run him out on a rail, too. Make an example of the whole family. Uh, wait, are there multiple Charlie and now Junior? Grab Tabitha, turn around, just leave, play along. Okay, I'll pack real good. Uh, oh my god. Keep listening? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. You continue, you continue listening to the scene. Please, he's only a child. We'll leave peacefully. Just give us a little time. Oh, God. They were only children, too. My boy was in there. Why should I give Junior here all the time in the world to gather his little toys and fancy clothes? Oh, this is after the mind collapse, the children's mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. These are the angry parents. Yeah. My boy didn't have that kind of luxury. Oh. Yeah. Okay, keen eye, yep. Yeah, I see. The collapse, Junior leaving, Charlie returning. It's starting to come together. Great. Mystery solved. You can let us go now, ghost. Oh. Don't listen to him. Charlie, just keep packing. Looks like the others are on their way. Better hurry, boy. Only you and your little dolls here might get burned up. Or you and your little dolls here might get burned up. Little dolls? Are we in Char Are we staying in Charlie's room? Are we little dolls? Oh, or maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, it would explain quite the nicely why they're so huge. Yeah. yeah, the perspective suddenly makes a lot more sense. And as for you, lady, what makes you think you're going to be keeping any of those valuables you're packing in that fine suitcase of yours? Are we the doll from the closet? Oh, no. I wonder how many of these rooms are play along. Mommy, I'm scared. Make the bad man go away. Um, let's do... Uh, God, now that we know what's going on a little bit more, God, this sucks. Yeah, God, this sucks. I can't imagine what it must be like to be driven out of your home like this. Maybe it wasn't actually this bad. Maybe it's exaggerating things. I don't think it was. No. Trust me, boy. The coppers ain't coming here tonight. What makes you think you can talk to an adult like that? Maybe they should have had you working in the mines, too, instead of lazing around in this big house. Maybe you would have learned a thing or two about respecting your elders. Don't talk to my son like that. Don't talk to me like that, woman. I call the shot. Now get out, unless you want to go up in flames with all your precious jewels and expensive dresses. You're lucky I'm even letting you leave. Uh, people keep talking to us. Who are we supposed to be? Um, I well, wonder... I think we're little kid. I wonder where we're going next. Oh, Mystic Trait lets you say the lines they're reacting to. Oh. Hmm. I wonder where we're going next. Choosing not to think about it. It's okay, Charlie. You can make new ones, even better than these. It's good for him. Shouldn't be playing with dolls anyway. Now you're gonna have to earn your keep just like the rest of us, boy. No more big inheritance for you. Alexis and Rosalina are whisked away, leaving you and Tabitha in the empty room. 
As they depart, the front door stops pounding and opens into a beckoning white void. We're in hell. We both died and we're in hell. Uh, are, we, are we supposed to be Charlie? I, who did you call on the phone earlier? Um, sorry, Ditchling's here. All right, we can, you should go through most of these explore things. So I think let's start with this. Yeah, are we supposed to be Charlie? Is Charlie the ghost? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, now who did you call? Sure. Who did you call on the phone earlier? Friend of the family. Not that it matters, though. The call didn't go through, so we're on our own. But you were talking to somebody. Uh, okay, right. let's put our heads together. What do we know? We know that we can't leave, and we know that we're not possessed, at least as far as we can tell. And whatever we saw in this room at least happened right after the Shaw mine collapsed in 1918. I think the only option on the table for us right now is to keep doing what it wants us to do. Maybe it'll stop at some point, or maybe we'll figure out a way to escape. Uh, so many ditchlings. There are... So many ditchlings, yep. Yeah, there are. Those things are horrible. No wonder you were such a mess when you came back on Monday. Uh, yeah. There's I... only one way to end this. You're right. There's only one way to end this, shall we? Yeah, let's get this over with. 